actually on 25th of November I had an interview with Verizon. In first week of December I got my result and on 10th of December I got my offer letter and that day I put in my paper on you know in and uh, so that's how I started thinking about my switch like if I want something related to my technology if I want something what I want then I have to make a move Hey guys, welcome to my storytelling series. Yeah, I've started a new series called Storytelling and I'll be sharing some of my piece of stories from my life to you guys, which can help, I feel, which can help you, you know, in your, in resolving your personal life problems somehow, maybe if I could help in that way. So my second story, my today's, my today's story is related to the last day of my company, the Cognizant, and why I left Cognizant. That is a major question you have been asking me. And I haven't replied it yet, you know, much proper way, but in this, in this video, I'm going to reply you. Why I left it and what time, at what time I decided that, yeah, it's time to move. So, so basically, I was when uh, I was in a project which which started from scratch. It was a completely brand new project. It was it came to uh, you know cognizant, and I was one of the you know the starting member. You know when the project was started with five member, and I was five to six member, and I was one of those member. Then they had keep on hiring the people, and the total strength of the project project was around maybe hundred or near around hundred to two hundred. Means like if I talk about the complete project, yeah, it was uh, the strength was like that. Okay, if everything was that good, then why I left that? Okay, what happened, right? Uh, yes, that project was really good. We were working on, uh, you know, so many niche technology like Java 8, Angular 7, that time. Uh, Angular 7, 7, Java 8, Elasticsearch. Um, we were working on the yeah, database was also there. And, you know, the project design development was, it was completely new. And I learned a lot in that project. Trust me, I learned a lot. If everything was so well, then why I left that? When you, you are in the project, right? It started from the scratch. Then there will be a time when the project has to end. And that phase came after two years. So I was not, I did not switch because of, uh, I was not tagged to a good project. I switched because my project was completed that time. And, and uh, so that's how I started thinking about my switch. Like if I want something related to my technology, if I want something, what I want, then I have to make a move. The project, if I'm getting other project, the project will not be from the scratch. So first thing I have to spend a lot of time in understanding a new project. Instead of that, why not switch a company to another one? So the two things you will get, the choice of the project or technology and the second thing <laughs> It was uh, there in my mind, if you are going for a change, then why not look for the, both the two options, the salary as well as the technology. So that's why, that's how I decided to make a switch and I did a switch. So within a month, not even a month, yeah, uh, within a month, I switched to Verizon. And you know what, Verizon was the first company I appeared for an interview and I got selected. Uh, the major reason of the selection was might be my technology or my resume. I don't know. So the interview went well and once I got selection in Verizon, I did not try for other company because I, because Verizon was... It, it is a good company and I have already, I have thought, made my mind like if I'm getting any product based company, any big company, then I'm fine. You will not go for other company, right? You feel lazy for, you know, to apply for other company and to get, uh, you know, more and more hype. I, I was literally feeling lazy. Once I got my first, uh, you know, my first offer letter, I was on what, on trust, you know what, I... Actually, on 25th of November, I had an interview with Verizon. In first week of December, I got my result. And on 10th of December, I got my offer letter and that day I put in my paper on, you know, in Cognizant. So on exactly on 7th of December, I completed my two year journey in Cognizant and on 10th, I left it officially, though I served notice period for two months. So my exact date of joining in Verizon was 10th of February. So the two months I enjoyed a lot and because I was in a project uh, where there was not much work, it was already completed and I was not allowed to shift into other, other project since I was on my notice period. So I had nothing to do. I literally enjoyed those times. <laughs> and then, yeah, on 10th of um, February, I joined Verizon. Hope you guys enjoyed my storytelling, um, my, why I left Cognizant. And if you have other question, other query, if you have any question, if you want to know something more, then you can post it in the comment section. I will definitely try to make a video on that. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.